Here are my rules for success. Number one, define success precisely. Be absolutely clear what you mean by success because the word means different things to different people. And money and financial reward is clearly part of that, but it's by no means all of it. Because I find that creative entrepreneurs also want to have a lifestyle. They want recognition for what they do. They want to work on cool projects. Perhaps they want to collaborate or they like their independence. And for everybody and every business, there's there are different dimensions to success and it's crucial that we are ultra clear about what we mean. Otherwise, we can just follow other people's definitions of success and end up in the wrong place. So be clear what you mean by success. Number two, celebrate the fact that we are creative and we have lots of ideas. We have ideas naturally. They occur to us at all moments uh, throughout life. But we can also generate deliberately even more ideas. And I think that this is amazing and wonderful that we can have thousands of different ideas. But of course, we can't do them all. So we need to celebrate and actually generate ideas, but also have a system for selecting the best ones that are most feasible, um, that fit best with our values and our business objectives. So generate ideas by all means, but sift and sort and filter them to choose the best ones to pursue. Thirdly, learn from other creative and cultural businesses. Uh, we can learn a lot from each other, but perhaps even more importantly, we can learn from other sectors of enterprise and whether it's in the, you know, the commercial sector or the non-commercial sector. We can learn from other enterprises and then we can adapt the best ideas from them to our own values and our own purposes. This is a kind of creativity in itself to take an idea from another business um, to adopt it in that sense but then to adapt it and change it so it suits our purposes the scale and the type of businesses that we have. Number four is to understand the competition, to recognize that we're not alone in the marketplace. And we need to understand where we fit within that bigger marketplace and recognize we have competitors. And by looking at competitors and ourselves, we can identify our competitive advantage. In other words, the things that we can do, other people can't. So if we focus on our competitive advantage, this is a crucial part of our business formula. Number five is to choose markets. Don't try to sell to everybody. Recognize that we have competitors who can serve certain uh, aspects of the market better than we can, but also we can focus on those parts of the market that want the things that we can do other people can't. So it's about being strategic and selective about the markets we choose rather than selling to everybody. Number six is about customers. Customers increasingly want to be involved. They are active in promoting our products, which is great, but they can also criticize our products. So we can't treat customers as just passive, uh, as if they are there just to be sold to. Customers are active. They're active on social media. They talk to people. Um, and they want to be involved. They will give feedback if we ask them. We can treat them as partners and get them more involved in our business um, in, you know, to smaller or greater degrees. So regard customers as part of the business um, and certainly as part of the marketing of the business and you know, treat them with respect and benefit from their intelligence, their opinions and their energy. Number seven is about adding value and recognizing that on top of the products or services we're selling directly, people are buying kudos or a sense of community or a backstory. So let's offer this to them. Let's recognize this and add value to our products and services by allowing people a greater experience, 
a greater connection. And with that, they get more benefits, more satisfaction, and we can actually increase our prices because of that added value that we're selling to customers. Number, about, number eight is about communication. Um, when we communicate as part of our marketing, we have to recognize that we have different um, stakeholders because we might be communicating you know, one moment to customers, um, another moment to uh, partners or sponsors or funders even. And then you know, at another time, we're communicating with our suppliers and another time still to our employees. So it's common sense that we talk to them differently, but we can be more precise about this common sense and recognize that even customers are of different types and we might need to convey a slightly different message to different kinds of customers. So let's be precise about our communication and tailor it to the particular needs of these different audiences and emphasize what they need to hear rather than what we want to say. Number nine is about intellectual property. We are generating intellectual property, creating it all the time as part of the, the work of our creative enterprises. So we need to be canny about how we protect it, but we can also commercialize it, exploit it to generate more income streams. So be very aware of intellectual property, get to know more about it, learn more about the techniques for protecting it and commercializing it, whether that's um, licensing perhaps, selling it, sharing it, and repurposing it into different formats to reach different markets and to generate even further income. And make sure that intellectual property is part of your business formula. And then number 10 is to combine creativity and business. To combine these two things, your creative talents with business methods, in a way that suits your objectives, your definition of success, and your values and your personal style. So this comp combination of creativity and business is right at the heart of any creative enterprise. And in conclusion, I would say that number one and number 10 are the most important. Be absolutely clear what you mean by success so that you can design your business to deliver all aspects of success uh, defined in your terms. And the final one, number 10, is about combining your creative talents and passions with smart business thinking. And of course, that's what I help to, people to do. And that's why I use the metaphor I use in my book and my business of t-shirts and suits. Creativity and business, t-shirts and suits. And finally, I wish you every success.